In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called a drop cap. And a drop cap is simply that big letter you see when reading a book, perhaps the first letter in the first paragraph of a new chapter, is bigger than all the rest of them. Uh, it'd be fairly easy to do this by yourself, but Word now has a feature that allows you to uh, pretty much automate it. All you have to do is be in the paragraph that you want the drop cap to appear in. You don't have to select the first letter or anything like that. As long as you're in the paragraph, that's all that matters. This is on the Insert tab, and it is way over here in the text group, and there is an option called Drop Cap. Uh, the default, obviously, is None, and there are two choices. We've got Dropped, and it's doing a live preview for us. And the other one is uh, in the margin, which I think looks funny, so we will just pick Dropped. Now all that it does is it cuts out the letter that was there and pastes it into a text box. And you can, this, so this is just ordinary text. You can do anything with this text that you could with text in any other text box. So we can go back here to the Home tab and, you know, we can change the font on that if we want to. So let's go to, let's make it a script font. Well, that looks kind of weird. Let's uh, not make it a script font. Um, let's try Calibri Light. That doesn't look all that much different. Uh, you can change the color. Uh, you can make it bold, uh, italic, underline, whatever. So it's just ordinary text. You can do anything to it that you can do to any other text in your document. Now there's one other thing I want to show you here. So I'm going to do a few undos here. So let's go all the way to drop cap and get back to where we were before. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these first few paragraphs here and I'm going to change the paragraph formatting on them so that there's a first line indent, which is, you know, frequently what you have with a new paragraph. So each line now has a uh, half an inch indent on the first line relative to all the other lines. And now let's go do this again. Let's go to insert and let's go to uh, drop cap and we will again choose dropped. And what you get this time is uh, the letter A is not over against the left margin like it was before. Now it's over here. And the reason for that is, I think this looks funny, so I want to fix it. The reason for that is this inherits the paragraph formatting from the paragraph that was in. And the paragraph that was in was just like this one and this one and this one. There was a first line indent of half an inch. So when I click in here and I look at the ruler for my, ta uh, for my drop cap, it is a first line indent of half an inch. And so this is the first line in the text box. It's the only line in the text box. So all I have to do is I have to take this and just drag it back to the left. And when I've got all the way back over to the left, right there. Now I think that looks better. So if you end up with some extra space there on the left, the reason that probably happened is because it inherited some indentation from the paragraph that it was in. Okay, one last thing to look at for drop caps here. We've got the three choices here and 99% of the time, that's probably all you're going to do. Uh, there are some drop cap options here, though. Uh, these first three are on the drop down up here, so there's really no need to go to this point to pick them. You can just pick them right off of the drop down. Uh, you can change the font, but you can also do that just by dragging the mouse over it, going to the Home tab, and modifying the font. Uh, you can control how many lines to drop, and you can tell how far you want it to be away from the text. So these uh, are options that you can change if you want to. Uh, but like I said, most of the time you're probably going to be happy with the default.